Gotta clean this off, haven't been here in a while. All right, let's get to see if this is any better. Mm hmm ooh, ooh, don't tickle me. Oh, does that look good or what? Man, it has been a minute I had to clean the screen. Welcome back, thank you for bearing with us on our hiatus. We've been working on a documentary called It's Not Just Us. Um, follow that if you like, it's gonna be an amazing documentary. We really look forward to that, but it is super awesome to be back here with you all. I know you have been waiting patient patiently. I uh, must have lost uh, my uh, speech when I had COVID recently. Thank God I didn't get sick. I only lost my sense of smell. So for the first time in my life, my shit did not stink. It was glorious. Unfortunately, it is, it is back now. Huh. We got to live with it. I do anyway. Thank you for tuning back into Horror Vision 2020. And we have an interview with a fella whose doo-doo does not stink whatsoever. He is a director, a writer, a producer. He has like 23 credits to his name. I think 15 writing, 13 producing. Uh, his movies are incredible. He, is, uh, he lives in Michigan now. But he was born in Freetown, Sierra Leone. He speaks Creole. Uh, one of uh, many, many talents. He is an incredible filmmaker. And for what he does with the budgets he has is inspirational for all of you low-budget indie filmmakers. You can do so much. You can learn so much from this gentleman. I did. I look forward to you guys tuning in. If you guys like North, uh, Norse mythology, things like that. He has a series of films, kind of, uh, they're fan films also based on the dark comic, The Mask. Jim Carrey, th that, that version, but these are the darker versions, not related with Dark Horse or anything like that. But you have uh, Rise of Odin's Nine, Revenge of the Mask, uh, Rise of the Mask. Uh, not in that particular order, but uh, his channel for Revenge of the Mask and those uh, has like 44.5 million views. He has like 173,000 subscribers. I mean, it is doing exceptionally well. I think it's like the biggest grossing YouTube channel in Michigan, at least, you know, and, and he, on top of that, anyway, he has films that have won many, 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 many awards, and you can see it in the way he shoots. Really, really fun to watch. He is an inspiration. He is one of those human beings that, like, talking to him just made me feel better about my day. And that's how he looks at everything he does. That's how he approaches everything in life. He just wants to see a better world like a lot of us do. And on top of that, he loves blood, guts, and action. So we thank you, sir. I don't want to keep you guys uh, very long. Oh, I want to mention real quick, you got to check out uh, Silent War. It's coming up. I think he's shooting it now. It looks incredible. Also, uh, some films that he was working on before COVID that got shut down. Uh, uh, John Smith, Murder Hill, and USA motel they are back up in pre-production and running so get ready to see lots of things coming from him in the near future on top of it all i mean he's just a great human being so without a further ado beep, 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 beep. come on down lance coloss we got some prizes for you today thank you <laughs> So, um, is it Lance Kawas? How do you say your last name? Correctly? Yes, Lance Kawas. Yes. Kawas. 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 Just wanted to make get it right. Kawasaki <laughs> without the hockey. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's really good. Lance so, Kawas. I've, I've known about you probably for a long time because I made movies in Michigan. I made Exit 33, which is Norm Kuza's movie before Golden Shoes. Yeah, yeah, I remember that project, yeah. yeah. I'm sure he complained a lot about it. He he, he wasn't too fond of me. So. I actually can't remember. You have to understand something. I'm a very positive guy. I just good. get rid I, of all I the like negativity. Be, I'm just, like I'm just focused. Good, good, good. Yeah, exactly. We need, we need more people like you and us out there. Uh, yes, there's and, no need for negativity. It's all positive. And you were making Street Boss, and it was um, one of the tax credit movies, right? Tax credit, yes, yes, yeah, it yeah, was yeah. one of them, because, yeah. Yeah, I remember a lot of, like, my crew and stuff had worked on some of that stuff. So it was Oh, seriously? Yeah, because I've made movies in Michigan really early, so all of my crew that I built up worked on all of the other movies because there was no one else that knew how to do it. <laughs> and now most of them are either here in L.A., like Jim, <laughs> or in Atlanta. So Awesome. <laughs> Jim, you guys branched out. Yeah, he's yeah. an actor. He was a star in a couple of my movies. So yeah. 
Now he's a there you go, Todd. There you go. I mean, you know, that's how it works. You guys help each other out. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. Got to. Yep. And how's, I, uh, real quick, how's it going? And I mean, is is the Detroit area still opening up a little bit, or are they just completely yeah, locked down? Slow, very slowly opening up. I just finished doing some pickup shots for one of my movies, Silent War. Oh, good. We, we good. exercised all the social distancing and yeah. very limited crew. I mean, that's the new world, right? I mean, I don't know. It's crazy. It is. Yeah. There's a it's, there's a lot uh, going. On. I know some people are doing some shooting this coming week, and they're yeah. preparing for it. And we were even just talking about some of the soap operas had to shut down and they're trying to hire yeah. people for love scenes and things like that, you know, like couples that are already together. <laughs> it's crazy, yeah. It is yeah. definitely a, it's going to be a different world we're stepping into right now. It's going yeah. to be pretty interesting. Yeah. Then yeah. We'll be. I hope it's a kinder world. <laughs> Girl, you from your lips to my, whatever they say, from your lips to my mouth. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> whatever it is, yes. Yes. So I would definitely like to hear a little bit about how you got started and like um, what made you want to go into Yeah, a long time ago, um, I owned a, a, a coffee house in Farmington and I just started writing because that was my first love. I went to University of Michigan, got a banking and finance degree and a minor in English and theater and I never used it. So I started dabbling in screenwriting and then I got a lot of rejections, psychologically traumatic. <laughs> Over the course of seven years, just rejection, 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 rejection. But you know how it is in this business, you know, you can't give up. And then one day I won in one of these screenplay competitions and that propelled slowly. You know, you claw your way. What is it? You claw your way up inch by inch in this business. That's basically it. And you just don't give up. Yeah. What competition was it that you won? I uh, there's the Telluride Film Festival. Nice. I was also a quarter finalist in one of the Sundance screenplay competitions. Um, but I've, I've marshaled like 35 awards. Awesome! That's great. <laughs> Love that. Yeah. And and sorry, I have somebody visiting me here. Okay. okay, go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. This is informal. Yeah. We're good. <laughs> yeah, we're we're used to it, man. It's it's yep. all good. Yeah. Yep. Like you had a you had a. Like you were all over, you were born in South Africa and then you went to school. No, no, no. I was born in Freetown, Sierra Leone, which is um, in the west coast of Africa. Okay. And the reason it was called Freetown is because after the slaves were shipped back, they, that's where they landed. It's from, that's why it's called Freetown. That's awesome. Yeah, that's awesome. I love that. So I speak several languages. One of them is Creole, fluently. That's awesome. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, that is. <laughs> I'm jealous. I can only I'm an American yeah. boy with a multilingual I know, dimensions. which is a rarity in America, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I love America, man. I swear, it's such a beautiful country with so much. It has, it's just so rich in culture. It's so beautiful. I mean, and what's going on to me, it's like mind boggling. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. It is to a lot of people, but that's okay. Yeah. We'll get through it. We'll stay strong and we'll keep on doing what we're hey, doing. Amen to you, brother. I swear, we have to be strong. We are the greatest country in the world, and there's many reasons. I don't want to get into it, but... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, yep. What so, so what were your first movies that you... <laughs> uh, well, when I was in Africa, like I said, I, I got educated in England, and that's where I discovered David Lean. Are you guys familiar with David Lean? He did Dr. Zhivago. Oh, okay. I know Lawrence Dr. of Zivago. Arabia. Yeah, Lawrence, yeah, I know all of Bridge on the River Kwai. I mean, these are the heavy, big... I mean, he's British. And then he's different from uh, Alfred Hitchcock. Yeah. So we would like look at all these movies when we were young and I was like blown away by David Lee yeah. because he's so spectacular. Yeah. Big. Whereas Hitchcock was more linear, I thought, and very crazy, like in that dark world. Whereas David Lee is more majestic and big. Yeah. And I fell in love with David Lee. And I said, one day I want to make something like this. And I didn't have a clue. Yeah. So I kept studying film, and then I came to the U.S. and hey, you can do the anything. Land of, the land of movies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. and then you know, I you know with the super eight small camera, you start doing small movies that are stupid with your friends and in your backyard. And, <laughs> oh my God, they're really terrible. But you develop on that, right? Yep. And then yep. you just develop on that, and one day. The producer gave me the opportunity to make a small movie. I did that. It was such a big, big thing for me, but it was a terrible film. 
<laughs> and then you know not, you just build on that. You're not allowed to say that. I have a friend that makes movies like like that, like us, <laughs> like me. And he said he would take what the critics say and take out the last part of it. This thing is absolutely blah, blah, blah. and then he'd take the last bad part of it and put it on the box of the DVDs or the videos. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. And never I'm telling never you. diss your own movies. He made no. me like that. <laughs> Believe me, I'm the biggest critic of my own work, man. Uh, we Just, all are. We all are. Yeah. I can't even watch yeah. my old movies. <laughs> yeah. yeah, 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 <laughs> uh, yeah. Same, same here, man. But yeah. you've, been, you've got, you've got like 23 titles that you've, you've done. You've done it quite a bit, and you keep on rolling. So that's where you got to stay. Awesome. Yeah, I mean, um, I, I right now, I think I'm ready. You know, you have to be very, you know, what you psychologically and mentally ready to move to the next level um, after all this. And I think I'm. I think I found my voice in film, Good. and I would like to move in a little bit bigger. Yeah. So we'll see how it pans out. I mean, I was ready to start, but then the corona hit me. So yeah. I'm sorry. I know. Well, yeah, you have um, a few like in pre-production. Those get shut down. At least what I saw. I don't know. Everything got shut down, my brother, because you know it's just the way it is. I mean, it's for everybody. And right now, it's just starting to pick up pieces slowly but surely, reaching out. And these producers are also doing the same thing, I mean, you know. Yeah. yeah. Well, right now, everybody needs content. So things that yes. are slowly going, entertainment will not be um, be hurt as bad as other businesses because no. everybody needs this. So Everybody needs entertainment, and whether it's music, film, exactly. YouTubing, there's yep. TikTok, I mean, the whole, I mean, the whole, there's a whole world. <laughs> no. We're trying it's to learn crazy. all of those things, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, like that's what we're doing here, I guess, kind of. Uh, yeah, yeah, this is entertainment too. I mean, you know, it's one form, yeah. Originally, yep. this, this was before we we came up with this before COVID to do just an online convention for people around the world that couldn't make it to Motor City Nightmares or to my other stuff right. that I do. Right. So yeah. we were doing that, and then COVID hit, and we're like, well, let's just do it and just do it for free. We'll just do it for everyone. <laughs> and then we're like, everyone's home. We got a cap. Yeah. <laughs> So all the, Absolutely. A, lot of the, a lot of the guests and some of my past guests and friends said I they, mean, the biggest the biggest film festival right now, Cannes Film Festival, yeah. it's all through internet. Right. I it's, know. It's, it's crazy. Who would have known? Know. I'm setting up ours for July because ours is supposed to be in April. All of the people that are finalists will be shown in on uh Oh wow, yeah, yeah, good luck. It's yeah. gonna be a new thing, man. I mean you you yeah. know you know what do you say, master it. I mean that yeah. could be the thing for a while. There's, yeah. a, there's yeah. a, company, a company out of uh, New Mexico that uh, are, are gonna, they're going to run everything for it. And they're going to oh, have live Q&A of all the filmmakers and all kinds beautiful. of cool stuff. Yeah. Good luck, man. Good luck. That's great. <laughs> we have to make it in one way or another. Yeah. <laughs> so what was your like best experience on one of your movies? Give us a little little peek into your... You know, you know every, every movie has its own, you know little things that add to your life, whether it's, whether it's positive or negative. Um, and you just grow from it. And uh, for me, the best thing is uh, it's meeting people. Yeah. You know, you get inspired from the, from the PAs all the way up and the actors. And I just love meeting new people. It's such a good energy. Yeah. And I, I draw from that. I love meeting people a lot. Yeah, new people with their own perspectives. Everybody's bohemian. Everybody's weird. Everybody's, they have their own thing. And I, I, I love that. Love yep. meeting people, yeah, That's for awesome. sure. So, so the coronavirus is definitely hurt, hurting you right now, man. You're like, I can't meet all these people. Sorry, Tommy, go ahead. <laughs> Sorry, which, now it's all from a distance. I'm a, we meet people from a distance. You know, we need yeah. a newborn, right? Yeah. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> like the Mr. Microphone commercial in the 70s. Hey, good looking, right? I don't know if you remember that. I'm old, so. <laughs> <laughs> so. What you got cooking? Yeah, huh? that's it. <laughs> something like that. Hey, good looking. Hey, good looking. Yeah. <laughs> what you got cooking? <laughs> no, what yeah. was your favorite movie that you've done of your own? Which one you? Oh man, I, I honestly don't. I don't know. I don't think I've made it yet. I honestly don't because like all these movies are basically my schooling. Uh, because in every film you make, it's like it's different, and you learn. And I don't think I've I've made the movie that I really love yet. Yeah. It's, isn't that strange? Yeah, like, no, you know, I, I, mean, I totally understand that, but I've come to the, the realization that it doesn't matter 
what I make. It just matters that I'm doing it. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. make it because I'm doing it. <laughs> Believe me, it is such, nobody understands like any movie, even the shittiest of movies, pardon my French, it is hard. Yeah. It is so difficult to put a movie, you know, it's like, it's really crazy. Like, to, and then to make a really excellent movie is like practically impossible because there's so many minds, there's so many people around you, there's so many people involved. It's, it's, it's a symbiotic thing that has to, I don't know, from the gods or the stars all have to be aligned in order for it to come together and people love it. And yeah. everybody has their own perspective. I, I know people who hate Braveheart. I know people who hate, you know, Saving Private Ryan. I know people who don't like Forrest Gump. Like those movies to me are like so phenomenal, but you always meet these people like they don't like the, it's crazy. Like you start checking yourself. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's when you gotta stop listening to the critics. <laughs> yeah, like who, who doesn't like Forrest Gump? Like, I don't know anyone that doesn't like Forrest Gump. So. I yeah. do. <laughs> I love it. I love it too. I even go to the restaurant all the time, Bubba Gump. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Bubba Gump. Yeah. <laughs> what would be What would be your perfect movie? What genre or style? Is there? A, do you have an idea of what you'd like to do someday? I swear to you, my brother. I mean, listen. I've seen comedies, slapstick comedies that made me feel good. Yeah. And yeah. they weren't that. You know, it, it, it's it's a it's it's like what what band do you like? I mean, there's so many bands I love: Led Zeppelin and Guns N' Roses, and I like rock and I like this. It's very hard to define. It's something that you, you enjoy at the end of the day. I think yeah. that's a movie. But personally, I've always loved the epics for some really historical yeah. epics. Yeah. I just love those. They, I hope one day I get to make one. Yeah, yeah man. We made a little one. It's called uh, Odin's Nine. It's on our YouTube. It's kind of historical because it has Vikings in it. And right now on that YouTube channel, it's got like 717,000, something like that. Okay. What, what is the channel so you can say it so people can go to it? Uh, Rise of Odin's Nine on YouTube. Okay. I will make sure that we put yeah. it up for you. Yeah, yesterday. Rise on Odin's Nine. The YouTube yeah, channel I, I saw that. Find... That was going to be one of my questions to you is what was that, what was that about? So if it's, it's up far, it's yeah it, it was developed by christina tomlinson and uh dylan sides and they're my partners in the in the youtube channel it's part of the how the mask the mask came to be how it was formed in in, in the norse mythology mythology that's cool yeah so that's right. dylan you just gotta watch a, it he's a special yeah i'll watch artist, it right, right? Huh? dylan is a special effects artist right Yes, he is. Yeah. I know yeah, Dylan. Yeah. Okay. I know. Yeah. Dylan. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. So, but, just, mean but, to but yeah, but the, the, the movie, the sh it's a short movie. It was shot like in an epic way, the way I like to shoot stuff. Cool. And, you know, directing it was very beautiful. So right now it's doing well. It's only been released two weeks ago and it's doing really good. Good. Awesome. So I can't wait to see it. This will go live yeah, in a couple yeah. weeks, so we'll make sure to promote it yeah. then so you keep having a good stream going. <laughs> Thank uh, you so and much. I'll be watching it yeah, right after this for uh, sure. For sure. Yeah. No. Yeah. And it was all done by local Michigan filmmakers. That's cool. Which is, yeah. People who just love film, there was no big stars in it. It was all local people. Oh, you work with my really good friend, Tracy No, right? Tracy, the big tall guy? Yes, Tracy, yes, 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 he's yes. A really he's good a good friend of mine. He's a yeah. sweetheart, yeah, 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 for sure. Oh yeah, I mean, the crew is, it's a big crew. It's yeah. every, It's like a who's who in Michigan filming, you know, they're all, we all came together. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. I, I Sometimes I miss it, but it's almost the same out here because I'm in the horror world and everyone out here I know already from my show so they're all making movies out here so they're actually now they're starting to include me in it so it's very nice yeah. <laughs> but that's how it is it's a community effort man everybody yeah. has to pull their sleeves and help each other out yeah. it's just yeah. the way it is yeah yeah and they are like Jim and I like I I just came out here ended up uh, about a mile away from him and just called him up and we just started doing work together it was really cool <laughs> but that's how it's supposed to be yeah yeah you help each other out right yep. Yep. yep, that is it. <laughs> it's been fun. That's why it's such a tight knit community. Like it people is. think it's people think it's so big, but it's really kind of small. It's very yeah. Small. It is. It is. It is. It is. It is. So, Love it. Um, what are you working on now that you're yeah, you can do during quarantine? Are you writing something or? Well, yeah. I, one of the things I do, I'm a, uh, I get paid professionally for writing. So yeah, I've written the script for producer of Home Alone, Scott Rosenfeld. 
Um, it's called The Music of Maringi, Maran, Mar I don't have to pronounce the last name, Marani, Marani. It takes place in New Orleans. It's about four kids who get caught in the, uh, you know, in the flood of, the, of New Orleans and how they pick themselves up to become musicians. It's an inspiring movie. Okay. So that was go is going to be produced by um, uh, Scott Rosenfeld of Home Alone and Mystic Pizza and blah, blah. Wow. That's awesome. Nice. Yeah. So Classic yeah, so that's that's movie. one. And there's another one with the people at Armory Films. They did like Mudbound and Peanut Butter Falcon. They're pretty pretty solid. So that one is in development. It's called The Violinist. So yeah, I mean, good. It doesn't mean anything, but hey. We're trying. Yeah. So is, is that the same story for like John Smith and Murder Hill? Are those still kind of no, in no, no, no. Those, are, those are totally different. Those, uh, uh, Murder Hill is more on the horror side, whereas The Violinist is more drama. Uh, the music of Meringi, it's more drama. So I write everything. That's cool. Awesome. That's really cool. No, I have to to survive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, yep. So what is your favorite horror movie of all time? <laughs> well, horror comedy or horror horror? Uh, but you can do two. Horror comedy and horror horror. You know, Poltergeist always makes me smile. <laughs> <laughs> the very first one. Oh. Uh, the Ring <laughs> makes me scared shitless. The, the, the original Ring or the, the American the, one? The, the, the American one, the first American. one also. I mean, okay, yeah. The Ring, yeah, The Ring. And uh, then also... Um, the 70s one, the, the big, that was the biggest one. Um, Texas Chainsaw Massacre? No, 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 no. The one with the girl that spins her head. Uh, oh, Exorcist. Oh, Exorcist. Yes. Yeah. We just did an interview <laughs> yesterday of Eileen Dietz. She was the body double for Linda Blair. <laughs> I remember watching The Exorcist as a kid and I couldn't sleep for weeks. I was like, <laughs> who's this? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah she has and you have the thriller ones like Jaws. Jaws is a horror. Right? Yes, it is. Yeah. 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 So, yes. so it depends. Yes. Those are like my influences. Definitely. That's awesome. That's, that's yeah. the second time we've heard Poltergeist. That's really good. Yeah. <laughs> Poltergeist. I mean, that's the beauty of that. It's Spielberg, right? Poltergeist. Uh, I can't remember. Spielberg, but Toby Hooper directed it. Toby. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Chainsaw. The yeah. beauty of that movie. Yeah, it has horror, but there was funny. Mo so yeah. funny. It was funny moments. It, <laughs> yeah. Sometimes yeah. they didn't intend to be funny, but they just ended up funny. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey, if it works, it works. If it makes you laugh, yeah. if yes. it makes if you it works, cry. It works. Yeah. If it if it affects you in any way, that's a positive thing for that. Though. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but horror is a survive. I mean, it's surviving. And it'll always survive. People just love horror. Yeah. yeah. And I'm I'm wondering, like, uh, this movie that came out, Quiet. Did you guys like it? Quiet. Oh, oh Quiet Place. place yeah. Oh I yeah, did. John Krasinski's movie with Emily Blunt. I love they did part two, yeah. Did you yeah, like that? Yeah, part two was supposed to be released, but I haven't. It's not going to be released until after. Is, is it? Did they do a release on the second one? Like no, no, they online? held yeah. it. They held it because of they COVID. held it. Oh, yeah. I can't. Yeah, because I can't wait to see that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I know. So that's the beauty of humanity, man. You keep pushing yourself, come up with these different concepts and horror. It never, it'll never end. Yeah, I know. Yep. <laughs> I know. I love it. <laughs> I'm sure there's going to be some crazy ones come, you know, that people are just sitting around going, well, this shit sucks that we're in right now. I'm just going to keep right. Well, it's going to be a lot of like zombie oh, yeah. apocalypse virus. Oh, yeah, stuff. yeah. Definitely. There's going to be more and more material from this. Yeah. Sure. hundred percent. Yeah. So you work. You should come up with something, Tommy. Come up with something. <laughs> oh, I, I have. We actually we're writing a whole bunch of stuff. Jim and I are we're, writing a script and I'm working. writing a horror comedy with. Um, well, I'm not writing. I'm hopefully producing it with Mark Brazil. Oh, beautiful. Um, the creator of that 70s show. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. So, yeah, he's, he's hilarious. I can't even sit through a Zoom call without, like, tears coming down laughing so hard. <laughs> they just, like, they're just so funny naturally, you know? I mean, you know, in this business, we all have to be eccentric in one way or another. Yes. That's right. And it's all <laughs> you can't be normal. It's all about connection right. because I just came out here and just meeting people and them accepting me and, like, just starting to just work. I mean, it's amazing how people just are ready just to sit down with you if they like you. You know. I love it. Yeah. I love it. Yep. Yeah, you gotta come out. Oh, you gotta come live out here. Wait, yeah. <laughs> well, you don't have well, to. Well, I come out, out four here, times a year, but I can't. I couldn't do it this year. I yeah. just. Couldn't. Do you yeah. come out for H M? 
I come out not only for AFM, I, my manager is in LA. I have a lot of friends in LA. I mean, producers that I work with are all in LA. I mean, yeah. I have to come to LA, but yeah. it's a matter of time. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm taking a risk. I'm coming back to Michigan at the end of July. Just for a couple. You should weeks. be good. <laughs> you, see, you see, we're more like the the blue collar guys. You know, we don't give a shit. Yeah. <laughs> just, <laughs> just no, I was on. there for Mother's Day. Yeah. How was it? I, I, I've been back twice this year already, and it's like yeah. the first time I went back. It was scary because the yeah. the plane was packed full, like not a single open seat. And I'm like, right. I was older, like, man. My oldest, my oldest son traveled yesterday, and it was the same. Not one seat open. Yep. But you're okay, right? I mean, you guys are okay. Nothing happened. I didn't travel. Right. He did, and he seems okay. <laughs> James, you're okay? Yeah, man. <laughs> I feel 100%. I don't know. When you came back from Michigan the first time, you got real sick. <laughs> that was in January, though. I know, that was but I think he was one of the first people to ever have it. So. <laughs> <laughs> So I was. I, I want I, your was, blood transfusion if I get it. So. <laughs> if you need it, I'm O. I'm O negative. I can okay. give it to anybody. Oh, me too. I'm O negative. That's the yeah, best. Yeah, virtual need, right? bucks, brother. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> oh, so funny. No. See the red blood types. Yeah. So you um, a couple times with Eric Roberts. Right in a couple. Yes. Of yes. Yes. Uh, how I, is I he to work? Him. Is he a blast or what? He seems like he'd be fun. I mean, you know, there's stuff I can't divulge on internet, but yeah, I mean, you know, it depends on the day. You know, he's good, he's known. I know. I guess I feel the same way. I work with Daniel Baldwin, and it was exactly the same kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, I've, you know, I've had a very beautiful, uh, I've had luck. I mean, you know, I'm blessed. I've worked with several known people, and uh, I've maintained my friendship with them. One of them is like Vivica Fox. Ooh, what an awesome I soul. Love her. Is she as cool as she seems? We te I'm telling you, man, whatever, we te she texts right back. She's very yeah. humble, down to earth. Tom Arnold, um, cool. see Tommy Howell, uh, Dean Kane, um, Nathan Jones from Troy, the big guy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. I mean, listen, these guys, they're so, some of them are so fucking. So beautiful and wonderful. They're so. It's okay to swear. It's okay, you can swear. It's yeah. okay. So yeah, beep. They're so yeah. great. <laughs> yeah. There's no beeps. There's no beeps on this show. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I've uh, I've worked with a lot of different people, but I I met more of them um just from my convention set and yeah. and um become friends with so many different people. So yeah. If you ever sure. need somebody like a genre star, let me know. <laughs> Definitely, yeah. Listen, it's all about collaboration. So yep, um, yep. I, I'm ready. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> is there actually when you speak, speaking of that? I know like so many things are on, still on hold for you, but is there like like a casting process for any of the ones that are on hold, or is it just all still completely locked down? Like every aspect. Well, of it? well, one of them is sort of. Uh, I'm, I may be doing something in Vegas, a movie in Vegas. It's an independent film um, with Randy Couture. Um, you guys know he is expendables he's one yep. of the expendables he's oh, the I mma I champion Randy Angelica huh? yeah. i did a movie with his girlfriend i can't think of her name mindy mindy, mindy robinson yes mindy yeah, robinson yeah. yeah great they're great people i mean there's a there's a there's talk we're going to be doing a, like a a movie with them in vegas so that's slowly opening hopefully we'll get it done i mean but it's 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 an uphill battle because of all the rules of the yeah yeah I know. It, right now yep. it's really tough. I know it'll it'll settle down a little bit, but you know, yeah. you, the main thing is you just have to have a COVID person. It's like an extra line item you need in your budget. Which I know, and you have to have a that, that can shut down a whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or go back to guerrilla filmmaking and shoot non-union and just make a freaking movie and be and like, also swear. sick and die. So. <laughs> yeah. Pray. <laughs> I'm just gonna you pray, you know. <laughs> <laughs> go back to making movies with all your friends. There you go. Yes, like, right. hey, guys, that's, 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 right. Yeah. Remember when we were yeah. young? I mean, that's what we're doing right now here in Michigan. You know, I just finished doing a war movie. There was no, there's no, uh, there's no leads, there's no names in it, and it's all done by a bunch of friends. And yeah. it's called Silent War. Uh, I'll be releasing the trailer of that on that uh, maybe within a few days or maybe by July 4th. Okay, so really, we'll, really, we'll put a tag on it for when we release this because it should it'll be after that. So then we'll we'll promote that too. I love yep. you guys already. <laughs> <laughs> I think 
no, that's. I think we hit it off right out of the right out of the I gate. I think we did. Like, oh it's yeah. Cool. You know, Michigan We're gonna like it. We look, we look out for each other. There's uh, no way. Got, and you, you gotta come to my show. I'll get you set up with a pass. Um, in April, April 23rd through the 25th next year. I will. Hey, I'm there. Have you, have you ever been to Motor City Nightmares? No, never. Okay, well you gotta come. You gotta come. Let's do it. <laughs> it's gonna be fun. <laughs> <laughs> Jim will be there. You'll get to meet Jim. And we'll, yep. we'll, we're bringing a couple. I love of you, Jim, already. I love you, man. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs> yes, so consider him for any roles. He's really good. I will. I will. <laughs> I know. Seriously. That's you have to go to Michigan. You'll get into these independent stuff. We'll put you in. Well, that's how we started. So uh, he's yep. like <laughs> And I still work on all of them. I know. <laughs> and you're still working with me, right? <laughs> yeah, that's great. It's like, uh, there's, you know, there's a, more of a joy. We talked about this with a couple of different people, but there's something about the independent films and whether it's horror or just independent in general, it, it's more fun on set, it seems like. And I've worked I swear on you, all these shorts that I've, I've done with my team. I mean, yeah. it, it's been such a blessing. We had so much fun. I mean, it's a blast. Yeah. Because you don't yeah. have the pressure of a studio behind you. You don't have the pressures of big producers. You do have... You shoot a few days here, you go back home, you eat a couple of pizzas, you gain weight, you come back, you shoot it. <laughs> <laughs> and then put yep. it all together whenever, and it comes together, wow, it's lovely. Yep. <laughs> come In back. Fact, we heard about, uh, there's another uh, producer, they just did a movie fully on Zoom, and they used a bunch of horror actors and stuff to do their own scene. I, it's supposed to be really good, so I'm excited to see that. Uh, <laughs> I'm curious how that I, yeah I want to see it because that's like yeah, yeah that's such yeah. a crazy thought to even film an entire movie like that I don't even know yeah. how you do it so it, but it's they not did. yeah it's not yeah <laughs> can you be well, editing right <laughs> yeah we're gonna be very inventive in this film business very soon we have to be yeah. really inventive. <laughs> yeah, because, um, yeah my uh, hopefully soon to be daughter-in-law she goes to USC for film and they they cannot do anything but in their own apartment so they can only film inside their own apartments right now. It's, so it's, it's like, but they're coming up with some amazing, you know what I mean? These creative, amazing things. So it's nuts. I'm telling you, I don't know, man. I don't know. I have to, I have to figure, I have to figure things out myself too. If that's how it's gonna be, like it's gonna be crazy. Like how am I gonna direct? How am I gonna direct? Like the yeah. people. Like, I'm very hands on. He even talked to someone that decided to do animation. He just he wrote he found an animator and he's just gonna do a lot of things animation right now so he can keep working. That's nuts. Yeah. That's beautiful. Make a, make a movie out of nothing story. but stock footage. Just like, <laughs> like stock, Ed Wood, footage. Right? <laughs> stock footage and a small green screen, you could probably make a feature film. <gasps> okay, I'm going online right after this to go to stockfootage.net. <laughs> footage. I know <laughs> I know this is about you, Lance, but I want to say something about the stock footage stuff real quick because yeah. I did a, a, I did a, I did a really fun movie with some friends years ago called uh, Lizard Man, and like they cut this trailer together using a lot of stock footage, like landscapes and cityscapes, and then like cut to some of the action scenes of the film, and and you're like, this is gonna be great, and it just, it's just a fun movie. <laughs> It's just a fun movie. Just a fun movie. <laughs> I, had, I had a friend that saw the trailer, and then he's like, I can't wait to see this. I actually have friends that watch it every Christmas. I don't know why. Uh, every but, movie every movie is somebody's favorite, and I, no matter what it is. And I, I love everybody that we worked with, and that was such a fun project. And it's like the Swamp Thing, the guy that made the uh, uh, Swamp Thing creature made it in this, but we oh. shot it all in broad daylight. <laughs> So the stock footage <laughs> made it look like this million dollar movie. And then you're like, oh, this is a low budget. Well, that's Ed Wood. <laughs> Ed Wood is, that's what he was famous for, you know? <laughs> I, yeah. I, um, what's his name? R Roger, Roger, Roger Gorman, right? Roger Gorman, 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 yeah. Gorman, Roger Gorman, yeah. I mean, he's the guy. Yeah. Roger, and uh, we just interviewed Lloyd Kaufman, too. Oh, yeah. There you yeah. Go. He's, he's amazing. He's such an amazing person. He was a character. That's for yeah. sure. Didn't he yeah. go went to Yale or something, right? With with one of the with one of the bushes. Um, <laughs> yep. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> Yale. Well, his wife was a film commissioner in New York. 
So oh, okay. his actual yeah. employed for a couple of years was the president of AF of IFTA, but AFM. Oh wow. So yeah, I didn't even know that. His little Lloyd Kaufman, he's a he's a genius. <laughs> Definitely. Can you tell I like him. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, you do. <laughs> I have my people I fawn over, right? <laughs> I think we just I we just discovered a new one. Oh yeah. Yes. In you. Yes. What? <laughs> Me? Yeah, man. No, you have... there, there is something about you that have you have that 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 energy that it that and that you love everything. You'll be able to pull something together. So I'm excited to see all the work you have coming out. That, yeah. that's 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 how i live i'm very energetic i'm very po i stay positive um i like to influence people. That. rub that on us <laughs> hey <laughs> even though yeah, i laugh man. all the time i'm a professional laugh track that's what i do <laughs> oh wow <laughs> she's, she's pretty good at it yeah <laughs> that's all I do. you would know <laughs> yeah <laughs> <I'd, yeah. laughs> yeah it's a very good thing no but tommy's right man like your energy and the way you look at it you're going places, no matter what. Like I, love, I hope I so, love my brother. Positivity. It makes me feel I want to be more positive now. Just for dirty you have to be. You have to be an influence to all these people that are so. There's so much people depressed out there. I go, no, man. Life is short. Go live it. Sure. Doesn't matter if this Corona. Right. Just go. Because if <laughs> it's Corona, right. it's gonna be something else. It's gonna be something else. So just keep moving forward, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's yep. awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> We made it through polio and smallpox, so let's, we can get through this. I didn't. And the plague, all these plagues. Yeah. And the plague, yeah. We are the byproduct of all of that. Yeah. Yep. We're, you know, <laughs> We're all survivors. At the end of the War of the Worlds, like, you know, the, the, the first one or the, or, or the remake with Tom Cruise, you know, at the very end, Morgan Freeman's saying, like, humans have earned the right to live on this planet. <laughs> And, <laughs> and that's true because we hit them all and we survive it doesn't matter yeah. we're here to, yeah. <laughs> until we just blow ourselves up or something but besides yeah, that we're here we're the cockroaches we're here <laughs> we're here <laughs> i mean aliens can come to earth because then they catch one of those diseases and that's yeah. it exactly. I, they're, just, they're just waiting they're like i'll just wait out <laughs> humanity and then i'll go <laughs> yep. or we don't even need weapons a lot of a lot of um you know people they know that they visited here and come here and you know some i'm a big i'm a very very big fan of that topic by the way me it's too so fascinating yeah. ancient aliens is one of my very favorite things i love i when i was younger right out of high school i read chariots of the gods Get out of here. oh wow yeah, you know, which is, you know, all about the, before the show came out, you know, so yeah. I was always enamored with that. Because with I know, all, man. The things, I'm, I'm, all the things they I'm, found in the past and all the things, you're like, how did they have all of that stuff? You know? Amazing. That's why I, I like what Elon Musk is doing, man. Space travel, you know, going to space. I love, I love all of that. Yeah, that's, I love yeah. that's the future. I mean, we're going to be heading in that. We'll be making movies over there. I had, I heard, I heard even Tom Cruise is making a movie in space. Yep, he's working with NASA. And, there's... That's and it awesome. has to be Tom Cruise. That's, That's Tom Cruise. He doesn't want to make I mean... movie on Earth. He wants to make it in the moon. <laughs> yeah. And the fact that they're already <laughs> talking about, like, it's already happening. Like, they're already working. With, he's already working with NASA. NASA's like, they're like, yes, we're on board with Tom Cruise shooting a movie in space. Like, well, there's enough right. stock footage for us to do that, though. Let's do that. <laughs> So that's not from like the Mars rover and all. <laughs> we you know, everybody gets one. jealous of everybody. Now you have all these production companies where if Tom Cruise is going to space. We're going to go to Mars. To the Mars, yeah, right? right? Exactly. We're yeah. really going to Mars. <laughs> it's a one-way ticket. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> it's a good. It's a good quarantine. You know, that extends the two-week period of being quarantined to make sure everybody's safe. So by the time oh, you yeah, get to Mars, in right. nine months to be like, yeah, it's, it's only two people <laughs> at it, so we're good. <laughs> and you can just shoot them out into space, right? You know, <laughs> that's it. A Viking there's, funeral. There's no laws out there, right? Because there's no. No, there's no laws. <laughs> you can make movies any way you want because there's no laws. <laughs> any way you want. <laughs> just don't hurt animals. <laughs> you can leave them don't hurt animals. <laughs> <laughs> not, any, not these days. You can't. That's for sure. No, no. <laughs> Good. That's good. Good. Oh man, no. it's too much fun. Too much but fun. This has been great. Thank you so much. Is there anything you want to promote? 
Um, you know, I, I would like to promote, obviously, our YouTube channel. It's called Revenge of the Mask Film. Um, okay. I would like to promote that because we've got 44.5 million views so far and 163,000 subscribers. It's, nice. it's like the number one YouTube thing in the history of Michigan. And it was all done by Michigan people. Yeah, but you guys were, I remember you guys were shooting it because Tracy and I would talk sometimes. You guys worked your butts off. You guys did a great yeah. job. Great yeah, job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so yeah, I would like to promote the YouTube channel right now. And I don't want to promote myself because I'm not like that. But you I'll promote to. the channel. I'll do that for you. We'll promote you. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, guys, this is you guys are freaking awesome. I want to tell more people. How can I promote you guys? Tell me how. Well, when it comes out, just spread the word. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, it's it's Horror Vision 2020 on all platforms, YouTube, Instagram. Do you, do you guys have my email? Send I, me all the stuff. Yeah. It's, it's my name at yahoo.com. Lance Kawas at yahoo.com. Send me okay. all of that. I'll promote you guys on my Instagram. I only have a humble 2,000 something. Okay. And on, uh, you got, you got anything, me beat. Anything, it doesn't matter. Um, uh, it's cool Facebook. if I follow you on all those platforms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Twitter, I'm on Twitter. Um, Instagram, Lance Kawas Films. Facebook, you know, the same. Awesome. <laughs> LinkedIn. Yep. Awesome. Lance, Lance Kawas Films. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Awesome, dude. That's great. Thank you so much. Yep, I'm so yeah, glad. Rock, man. And Keep, we, you know, we definitely want to come back around again when you're yes and stuff, and we'll do another interview. Yes, yep. yes, please. I'm so blessed that I met both of you. I'm so grateful. Thank, thank you so, so much. much. Thank you. And thank kick, you. Kick that corona on the ass and stay. <laughs> make movies. <laughs> you know, <laughs> stay do it. Fans, you take care. Thank you. Bye. 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 B